Would you want your kid walking past a sex offender on their way to school? Well, neither does one Gibsonton mom, but she keeps running into dead ends. Eight on your side's Victoria Price shows us the walk is also a half mile long and poorly lit. This is a rare exception. Beth Spangenberg free to pick her daughter up from the bus stop. Most days, 11-year-old Cadence walks more than a half a mile home. The distance isn't the problem. It's totally the hazards involved. No sidewalks and very few lights. And because Cadence goes to a magnet school in Tampa, she gets picked up early in the morning and dropped off late in the day. Her mom had enough when she found out a registered sexual predator lives along her daughter's walk. That's my baby. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to her. And if anything happened to her because I couldn't pick her up at the bus stop, what would I do? Spangenberg is just one of more than a hundred plus parents who have reported hazardous walking conditions so far this school year, according to Hillsborough Schools. She says she won't stop fighting for a safer bus stop, even though her calls and emails to the transportation department have not been returned. It's something worth fighting for. That was Victoria Price reporting. Victoria tells us the bus drives right past the street this family lives on. Spangenberg doesn't understand why it can't just pick her daughter up there.